Hello guys. So I have loaded a SID into the FMC and naturally it comes with a set of constraints or restrictions. And we will mess around with it just to show how we can add or delete constraints or restrictions. Now if you have a look at the FMC you can tell by those magenta stars that there are restrictions, either altitude restrictions or speed restrictions. And um, also the altitude restrictions are symbolized on the map as you can tell by those magenta circles. One thing you do need to understand is that the altitudes that you can find here, those behind those restriction symbols, are not the actual restriction values. Okay, Those altitudes are the ones the FMC has calculated to meet the actual altitude constraints. So if I want to find out what the actual constraint is, I would have to click next to the waypoint. And in this case I can see that the actual altitude constraint is 1400 feet at or above. And um, the FMC has picked an altitude which meets this altitude constra constraint. 3000 feet is above 1400 feet. Now we can easily delete this like so. And um, because the number was already higher, um, the FMC still picks the same um, altitude. Now, because it picks this value, we can now try things out and see what will happen. You can enter altitude restrictions like so. Let's say I want to meet I want to be at 2800 feet at this waypoint. I would just type 2800 and the number changes. Let's change it back to 1400 at or above. It should switch back to 3000 because it wants this altitude and it meets the restriction. Now we can type something like 3200 at or below and it should still stick with this number because it meets the constraint it is below 3200 okay now you can even do something like this the altitude shall be between 2000 and 3500 still the number won't change because it meets the constraint okay just to prove you that this works let's put in something like like this because the FMC wants 3000 it should now pick the highest value within this range right and that would be 2800 so as you can see it's pretty simple you just click next to a waypoint, you can delete the constraint, or you could add something, you can say add or below, add or above, or just do it like this, then it will try to meet the precise value, or you can even define a range, like so. and. Um, well, the speed constraints are pretty simple. You just enter a value here. Just know that even though there's a speed constraint, it, there's no symbol on the map. There's only a symbol if there is a an altitude constraint like so. All right, I hope this helps you um, to understand how it works. It's pretty simple. You just need to know that these values are not the actual constraints, but rather those values. Thanks for watching and goodbye.